Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Voxler 3. Voxler 3 can create many different 3D map types such as isosurfaces, height fields, ball renders, contour maps, and well renders. In this demonstration, I will cover the various types of graphics output in Voxler. There are 16 different graphics output types in Voxler. Some of these can be created without any data while others require a worksheet, grid, or lattice to be created. The type of data needed is dependent on the type of graphics output desired. All data is imported into Voxler using the File Import command. Annotations and text can be created without data. Simply create the graphics output module and type the information onto the Properties window to see it in the Viewer window. Scatter plots are based on worksheet data files such as ASCII text files, Excel files, or CSV files. Scatter plots require a minimum of three columns of data to be displayed in Voxler. Contours, height fields, isosurfaces, oblique images, ortho images, streamlines, vector plots, face renders, and ball renders are based on grids or lattices. Grids or lattices can be 1D, 2D, or 3D. Some of these graphics output types require 3D grids and lattices in order to be created. Well renders are based on well data that is imported with azimuth, dip, and measured depth, directional survey information, or pre-computed X, Y, and Z values positioned along the well path. Axes, bounding boxes, and clip planes can be created from many different types of input, including data files, grid files, lattice files, or from other graphics output modules. I will create an example of each graphics output type. Click Network Graphics Output Annotation. You can select the annotation module and change the text to any text string you desire. The annotation can be moved to any location but does not rotate with the rest of the graphics output. Click Network Graphics Output Text. You can select the text module and change the text to any text string you desire. The text module has an anchor point that is defined by the map coordinates of the other map items in the view window. This allows the text to rotate with the other map objects. Change the X, Y, and Z values to 40, 10, and 80 respectively. This will fit the next map we create. To create a scatter plot, you need to load a data file. Click File, Import. Select goldconcentration.dat and click Open. Click OK in both import dialogs and the data appears in the Network Manager. Click Network Graphics Output Scatter Plot to add the scatter plot. A point is posted at each XYZ location in the data file. You can change the symbol, size, shape, color, and method of color fixed or by data. You can also add labels to each point of the scatter plot. A label can be any option from the labels field. You can offset the labels and change the font properties as well. To create a contour, you need a grid, lattice, or to grid a data file. Click goldconcentration.dat and click Network Computational Gridder. Click on the Gridder module and click the Begin Gridding button. Once the gridding is complete, choose Network, Graphics Output, Contour. You can change the contour levels that are displayed line properties, orientation of the contour map, and the location of the contour with respect to the data. You can also display a legend. To create an isosurface, you need a grid, lattice, or to grid a data file. Click Gridder and then click Network Graphics Output Isosurface. An isosurface is a surface of constant component value displayed in 3D. The isosurface separates regions less than the selected value from regions greater than the selected value. All points on the isosurface have the same value. You can change the iso value, drawing style, color method, colors, transparency, and the shininess of the isosurface. You can also choose whether a legend is displayed. To create a height field, you need a grid, lattice, or to grid a data file. Click Gridder and then click Network, Graphics Output, and Height Field. The Height Field stretches the component value in the desired direction, creating a 3D surface. You can change the drawing method, orientation, slice being displayed, scale, opacity, 
the colors being shown, and if a legend is displayed. To create an oblique or ortho image, you need a grid, lattice, or to grid a data file. Click Gridder and then click Network, Graphics Output, Oblique Image. An oblique image displays a slice of data as a color image in a 2D plane. You can change the orientation, resolution, interpolation, lighting, opacity, and colors. You can also choose whether a legend is displayed. An ortho image is very similar to an oblique image, except the image must always be perpendicular to the axes. Click on Gritter and click Network, Graphics Output, Ortho Image. You can change the orientation, slice number, lighting, quality, opacity, colors, and if a legend is displayed. This concludes part one of the video training for the various graphics output types in Voxler. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.